Hey there, it's Elizabeth. I hope y'all are doing well. I thought I would come on. I'm just sitting here in my room and I'm working on some pages in my May book, okay? If you wanna know how I make these books, there is a link down in the description below that will take you through from start to finish a tutorial of how to make the books uh, that I make for, for my um, creative daily journal. Okay, so today is, I have no idea what date it is, but it is a Monday. And by the time you're seeing this, let me think, you'll be seeing it next week. You will have already seen uh, the flip through of my March journal. So at any rate, okay. So this is what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> I was just in here doing my thing, and then I thought, oh, let me just turn you all on so you can come along with me to see how I do this page. So this is gonna be for Saturday, May 16th. And if you'll notice here, this is my Friday page. Uh, I used a collage sheet that sweet, my freaks, my, oh, yeah, yeah, my talking. I just can't get my words out. So, on this day, my sweet friend Debbie had posted on one of the sites this uh, free downloadable collage sheet that she did. So um, I always print them out because why not? They're fun to use. And sometimes I use them just like this as a whole sheet. Sometimes I print them out and I tear them up and make a pocket out of it. It just all depends. So today we're working on this page. Now, this page will look like this at the beginning. It's just uh, the original page in the signature came from a children's book and so I wanted to mute the background because I don't really care about these pictures they're going to be covered up anyway or most of it is anyhow so what I decided to do was I took my Neo Color 2s right um, you don't have to use these you could also you could use any kind of water soluble crayon okay Target has them um, recollections makes a brand at any rate so i used some of these i scribbled i just scribbled it on scribbled it on and then i took a trusty baby wipe and zhuzhed it all around okay to activate it now these neo color twos just so you know they are water soluble and that means that if this page were to get wet again it would reactivate it I don't really care. I don't see it getting wet. So anyway, so then I decided, okay, my husband on this Saturday, he went to the store because he's so sweet and he brought me a bouquet of roses back, right? So I love the cellophane that they put them in and I try to use it in my book. I try to use everything that I get in my book somehow or another, okay? That extra piece there will go out in happy mail. So then I thought, okay, well, let me just take the um, cellophane, right? And I took my black Posca marker and I just did a swirly cue, right, on here. Then I thought, okay, I need some leaves, right? So I have this stencil here. It's just like a no name. I'm sure I got it at, um, what's it called? Michael's probably, like a while ago. And what I'm using on it is this. Uh, what is this? What is it, Elizabeth? It's archival ink, okay, in library green. Let's see here. I'm just touching it. Now, the reason I'm using archival ink is because it is waterproof, okay? So, and it's not going to smudge once I set it down. Now, I just touched it on here, and it's still a bit wet, so... I want to go ahead and let's move my random flowers here. Okay. And wipe this off. And here's, I sorry if I'm shaking you about. Okay, the reason I'm wiping it off, which I never do, I never clean my stamps or my stencils, but what I wanted to do was flip it over so that I have this leaf that can go in two different directions, right? It doesn't always have to go like that. I can make it in two different directions. In fact, though, what I'm gonna think, I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put just random leaves all, all around, okay? Now, this idea I got from Art and City, 
Sweet K, I know she got it from somebody else who probably got it from somebody else who probably got it from somebody else and on and on and on. But I really like it. It's just a makeup sponge folded in half with a little um, clippy-do thing, whatever you call it, okay? And it makes a fabulous sponge. Well, it is a sponge. So, but it makes a fabulous um, doohickey, right? To um, use your stencils, right? Use your stencils with. And it just does a fabulous job of doing this. Okay. I don't really have a paper behind this. Whoops. I don't care if anything gets on any of my other pages though, you know. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. In other words, under this sheet right here, I don't have like a protective piece of paper. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Most of my pages get covered up anyway, so if it gets on something else, I don't care. Look at that. Isn't that just fun and crisp and clean and pretty? Yeah, okay. Now, I think I'm, because I'm going to put like the roses right here and I might have to cut, cut more out. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see. But this is super fun. So yeah, why not bring you guys along and give you some inspiration, perhaps some encouragement. Again, I'm sorry I'm like pouncing, so I'm sorry if I'm shaking y'all about. Yeah, give you some encouragement for journaling. Some of you have been telling me that you're, um, you know, listening to me yammer on while you journal and how fun. That's great and I'm so, so happy. Oh my gosh, I am loving how this is coming out, okay? Now all in the, in the center parts and overlapping, see, I will put these little like rose petal things, right? Okay, I'll put the, oh my gosh, I'm loving it, loving it. See, now this is just a really easy way, I'm just saying, it's a super easy way to decorate a page with stuff that you have. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I guess not everybody has like ink and not everybody has stencils and not everybody has water soluble crayons. Okay. Just forget what I just said. Oy, 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 oy. But I do really enjoy using, of course, the stuff that I do have some, you know, I mean, I have not gotten this stencil out in, I would say years. Okay years it has taken me or it's been I am gonna put a little piece right there just so I don't get this ink on um, the other paper because I've already completed that one so but I'm loving how this is coming out and like I said I'm using things that I literally I have not used in probably years like using this stencil and is one of them, you know? And then the other thing that I, oh, it dries like beautifully, okay? I just have to say, it dries beautifully. Okay, now we're gonna wipe it off again, okay? Because I'm going to turn it over. The archival link will stain your, uh, whatever this is called, a stencil, just so you know. It will stain it. See, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a little stained. No biggie, no biggie. As you can see, or if you can't tell, or if you couldn't tell, well, I like that like that, huh? Okay, let's try this. Um, yeah, I don't take very good care of my supplies. I am guilty of that. Okay, we're gonna see how this comes out. And maybe I'll do it just a little bit lighter, like not super dark, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. I am loving this. I am loving it. All right. I think maybe, all right. We're just gonna like, yeah, okay. We're gonna add, and maybe I'll do these a little bit lighter because they're going over top of the other ones. So why not? Why not just do a little light dabby do? Right? You know, the, the old technical term for stenciling. Just dabby do it on there. Let's see, let's see what, oh. Oh, I'm loving it. I am, I am actually loving it. Okay, 
this one we can just go this way oh I'm loving this I'm loving this I hope this is inspiring you guys to get your stencils out how fun huh oh my goodness Oh, that's fun, that's fun. And I love the light and the dark. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it, guys, I'm loving it. Okay, now, we're just gonna fill this whole page with leaves. Now, again, a lot of this stuff is gonna, that is gonna get covered up. It just is, cause that's how I roll. I decorate a page and then I cover it all up. <laughs> cause why not? Okay, now this, I might even take this and put this here. Oh my gosh. Let's, um, well, all right, we're gonna go right over and maybe I might even make this dark. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. That really is, I mean, isn't that part of the reason? Oh, I love that. Oh, so pretty, pretty. We're gonna do this down here, maybe. And let's just, I'm gonna kinda get that in there. Oh, I'm liking this. Isn't that part of the whole reason we journal? I mean, I know it is for me. I don't know about y'all. Obviously, I want to journal to keep track of what's going on in my life. Oh, I love, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna be able to stop, folks. I am just not gonna be able to stop. This is just too much stinking fun. Oh, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Okay. Yeah, get those stencils out, folks. Get them out. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. Especially when it turns out, you know, halfway decent. That's always fun, huh? Look at that. And you could do so much with that. Oh my goodness, you know, like you could take this, leaf, if you have any leaf stencils, you know, but you could take it and just do them all from the top. Ooh, it'll look like a jungle. Oh my heavens to Betsy, I might do that. You know what would be fun too? Is making them odd colors or like not odd colors, just like more colorful colors, like a rainbow, a rainbow of leaves. Ooh. Oh my goodness, folks, the ideas are flowing. Okay, I'm just gonna dry that off. Again, it's gonna stain it, don't care. All right, that's gonna go over my pile of junk to put away. All right, this is still drying, that's okay. All right, now we're gonna take these. Okay, we'll just use this piece of paper here, right? And this, all I did was I took the, excuse me, the cellophane, <coughs> right, from the roses, I took it, and I just did a squiggly do, you know, a squiggly do. Let's see, we might extend this squiggly do to go out to the edge. I'm really, I mean, when I did the first squiggly do, well, I'm not really being careful is what I'm trying to say. But I just wanted to bring this black out to all the edge, right? And is it perfect? No, do I care? Uh-uh, I do not, I do not because in the end, oh, I just thought of something. Because in the end, I'm not into perfection most of the time, okay? Most of the time. Okay, I can start the squiggly do up here so that it looks like maybe the flower is, I don't know, like on the side or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Half the time, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, this is fun. This is too, too fun. All right, I'm gonna do another one that's like off-center. An off-center squiggly do. I know I'm a weirdo, okay? The first step is admitting, right? Okay. So then we're gonna go there, okay. All right, and then we have another one. So I have like an odd number. We're just gonna do this regular squiggly do. I don't know, this is just my interpretation of an abstract rose, right? On pretty hot pink paper. I might leave those plain. Okay, all right. 
<clears throat> now, the real fun part is trying to figure out which glue is going to work <laughs> on gluing these down, okay? So here's my little rose bouquet, my little rose bouquet. Did any of you guys ever watch that, um, what, which show was it? It was like a, uh, a British show and it was called, um, oh gosh, I can't remember what it was called. You guys probably remember what it was called, but Bouquet, her lady, her, or this lady on the show was, um, her name, her last name was Boo, was Bucket actually. And, but she always pronounced it Bouquet in a really high pitched voice. It was really funny. I'm not sure if I like that now. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do. We're just going to mess around with it for right now. Okay. And just see, I don't know if I like that one. That's a little too, too squiggly do for me. I don't know. A little too squiggly do, you know what I'm saying? Or, okay. How about we just go like maybe this? Okay, we'll move this down here like this and then we'll put these maybe down here like that. And then let's bring this little squiggly do back. Oh, I kind of like that. That's okay, I guess. All right, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna glue them down. Okay, now I think, I think I'm gonna try tacky glue. I don't know. Whoops. Guess if I can get the lid off. Oh, for crying any sakes. Jeez Louise. Okay. So let's see if this will work. Who knows? And you know what? They're just gonna they're just gonna get um, glued down however which way. I don't know why I just took the time to do that. Bonk. Okay. There you have it. Sometimes you just gotta bonk it. You know what I mean? Just slap it down. There. Bunk. Slap it down. And just go with the flow, you know? Hopefully this will work. I don't know. Okay. I, lo I am loving those leaves, though. Like, I just have to tell you. I am really loving the leaves. Okay. Here, this one, boom. You can squiggle it, like squiggle, squiggle. <laughs> Don't you love my made up words? Squiggle, squiggle it around. And um, yeah, to kind of like evenly distribute the globs of glue that you're putting on there. What is, oh, you just heard my Jackie. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put this one over here like this. This is fun. This is fun, guys. And it's always, you know, it's always just a great time when you just sit here and, I don't know, maybe your mojo's missing or, you know, you're just, you're not feeling it, you know. But guess what? You can just... Look around your desk, you know, look around your desk and see like for this particular day I had on my desk and I'll put that one right there. I had on my desk, um, you know, this cellophane. So I thought, hmm, how can I use that? I'm going to put that right there. Look at that. And it just looks like a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Kind of, sort of, not really. But I know what they are. I know what they are. They are roses that my husband brought home for me. And then you have all the leaves and everything. Oh, how fun. How fun. Yeah. So, and on this day, let me think. Mm. And see, like, I, you know, like all the writing and the pictures and stuff, it just kind of fades into the background because, you know, you put the color on it first and then you stamped the leaves. I am loving those leaves. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to try that at some other point. Yeah. I don't know. And I might go back and just glue in a whole bunch more of these. Let's just, let's just see. Huh. Shall we? Okay, well, why not? 
I really need to have like a meme or something that says why not? Why not? So we're just gonna cut this out of here. And they're just random circle-ish, you know, circle-ish kind of things. So why don't we do this? Just because I'm not I'm not really a fan of all the squiggly black stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But that's it's fine. It's no big deal. Okay, so we'll move that around and put that there. Let's just cut another one because we can. I'm just making, like I said, an abstract-ish bouquet. A bucket. A bucket of flowers. Because my beautiful husband brought me home some beautiful roses when he went to the store. He's very sweet that way. He knows that how much I love flowers. Okay, we're just gonna, okay, we're not thinking. We're just slapping, slapping stuff down. Why not? Okay, any more? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, and then I'll, what I'll probably end up doing, I don't even know if I have, oh yeah, I do, excuse the reach, sorry. I do have, Oh, with junk attached to it, a Saturday the 16th, right? One of these little things. Maybe I'll just put it right there. Why? Because I can. That's why. But I'm not going to use that. I will use this sticky glue. And we'll just smack that baby on there. Yeah. Sometimes I can sit in here and like it literally I stare at the page for 45 minutes and I'm just like oy vey, you know. The mojo's not flowing and you know, we all go through that when our just our creativity feels um, stifled, I suppose you could say. Feels stifled and then other days you can come in here and just be in the zone and pump out those pages, you know. So that's gonna go right there. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I am loving those stamps. I have to tell you, I'm loving those stamps. Okay, now I'd have to look on my notes to find out what else I did this day, right? But now, of course, that I'm looking at this now, which is fine, it's, I, it's all good, it's all good. But it gives me an idea for another time if I do something like this, is I would face the leaves going that way, I guess. Would I? I don't know. Or you could just use the leaves and have them going this way like that, right? Um, to be kind of like in a vase, you know, to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying or not, but. And then this is gonna go on there somewhere. So I'll cut that out and put that on there cause that was just fun. <laughs> a bunch of us d did these Facebook avatars and it was super fun. But yeah, okay. So I just wanted to bring you guys along because I was having a lot of fun in here and what's the point of having fun if you can't share it with your friends? So yeah, I hope that just gives you an idea gives you, um, you know, inspiration, encouragement to journal, journal your little heart out. And, um, you know, there are so many different things you can put on a page, you know, it's, it's not limited to paper and stickers and, you know, all that and little journaling cards, you know, which I love putting on, but you know, I mean, this came from the Russell Stover thing. You know, you open it up and there's all the chocolates and I highlighted my favorite one. So yeah, I hope this, here's a, this is a, uh, a tea bag holder, right? And I just made it into my journaling spot. And this is, uh, an article that I read that was pretty good. Thoughts on the current, um, whatever this says, current crisis maybe? Yeah. So anyway, I hope that gave you a few ideas on what you can use to pretty up your pages and get them started and get you excited about journaling about your day. So I'll leave you all there. I will thank you for your time and spending it with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, a wonderful week, and I'll catch y'all real soon. Bye for now.